the next activity is a quiz. So when you select the quiz, okay, we will show you the list of the customizations. Okay. So all of these are important. Okay. So we're going to go through this one by one, okay. especially the layout and also question behavior review option. So these are the three key elements that you have to uh, pay more attention. So this will help you to make the quiz in such a way that it's very difficult for students to cheat or copy from each other. So before you make a quiz, it's good to have your questions enter into a question bank. Okay, so I will show you first the question bank, how to uh, create a questions into a question bank and then add a quiz which will later import the questions from the question bank. Okay. So you can go to your smart UMS. So this is a smart UMS. Here at the administration administration block, okay, you can see question bank. Just click on the category. Okay. So I make it a bit smaller here. Okay. So as usual, you need to have your question ready beforehand. So this is a questions. So in this case, I only have two questions, four questions. One, two, three, four. At the same time, my question actually is uh, belong to two different table. Sorry, two different chapters. So in this case, I want to make a category which for each of these chapter. So I can type for the first chapter, just put chapter one. Okay, you can write some description of the chapter. Just add category okay so the parent okay. and after that the second category add category okay. so one you have the chapter okay so the next thing you can do is just go go back to question bank Go to the first chapter. So there's no question for the first chapter. You just click create a new question. So this is a multiple choice question. So there are many different types of question you can create okay, by using the smart UMS quiz functions. So you can select each of these and this explain the different type of question. So this one is multiple choice. So I can select this one. Click on add. So the category is check. Chapter 1. So question name. Okay, I just put question 1. Question text. So this is your question. So I just copy this. Then paste. Control V. Okay, so the default mark is 1, the maximum mark. So I can select shuffle the choice. Okay, then there's only one answer. So the first answer is this one. Okay. So this is a wrong answer, so I will not give it a grade. Okay. The second is this one. Second possible answer. And this is also a wrong answer, so I will not give it a grade if the, chooser, if the student choose this answer. So this is the third one, the choice. Okay. So this is a correct answer. So for the grade, they will receive 100% of the total mark, 1. Okay, so if they answer correctly, they will get 1 mark. 
So this is number three and number four. Okay, this is a wrong answer. So after you have done this, okay, just save change and continue. and preview so this is how it look like so you can submit and you can just click cross preview and then set changes okay so now you have your first questions okay so if you want to add another question in chapter one just click this one add a new questions multiple choice add Okay. Again, question name, just Q2, or you can just type the question, okay, in the question name, and also the question itself, default mark 1, so the rest is still the same, just copy paste all the answer, and for the C, you have to choose 100%. Okay, if the student answer, uh, give the correct answer for C, then they will receive 100% of the mark, which is one mark. So this is a correct answer, so 100%. Just click Save Changes. So now you have your second question ready. So now I want to create the question for Chapter 2 here. So I select the chapter 2 category, create a new questions, multiple choice, add, just type the question name just now. In this case, this is a correct answer, so 100%. Save changes. So I want to add the last questions for chapter 2. So the correct answer is this one. So I'll put 100%. Then just set changes. Okay. So now you have questions in your question bank. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is to add the quiz in the next video.